Hello you guys and welcome back to the channel. Alright, so today I'm just going to show you guys a little mini haul of what I buy kind of closer to the holidays and and so since it's getting closer and closer to Halloween, no. <laughs> Hold up, my brain is not where in the right place right now. As it gets closer and closer to Thanksgiving, with prices dropping, clearances, and those things, that is the time usually when my family goes and gets all of our things that we need or things that we need replaced. So we went to Walmart, and first up, my, the first thing that my boyfriend wanted was to get himself some totes so that we can put his clothes into the cube because right now until we get a new dresser we kind of don't really have the space or the capacity to share a dresser together because we both have or we both had a lot of clothes he's cut down on a lot of his clothing so he got this nice little I guess he called it like denim blue kind of and then this nice beautiful like army green it looks kind of gray on the viewfinder, so I don't know if that's showing up as a correct color. We also got, for me, I needed new shoes. So I have these as my like everyday wear shoes, and I figured that wouldn't be that bad for $14, $15 if you want to count the change in there. So. I also then needed some new work shoes because as I transfer my shoes needed to be all black for my actual job. So this is what I have for my all black shoes. They're not also bad either for $12. I just slip them on and I do my job. They won't last very long because normally the Walmart shoes that I get, they only last for like six months to maybe a year and a half. It just depends on how much like walking and stuff I'm doing, but they hold for the most part. Up next we have kitchen stuff. We just needed not, we didn't need a whole lot of kitchen things. We just mostly need stuff that we've replaced or we have to throw away because they're like old. So he got some of these kitchen towels. They were like two, no, let me not lie. They were like $4. They were three thirty-eight, and you get a pack of nine. But they're a nice little dishcloth and they're pretty soft. Then we also got this for the oven. We like to replace these at least every two to four years. Just so, like if there's mold or something you can't get off because maybe you let it sit for too long. I like to just get some new ones and that then I'm good to go. We got a colander, but that was just because it was also $2 right now. So we only have one, so my boyfriend decided he, or he thought in his mind we would need one more. I did get a new can opener because I broke the last one with my brute strength, and now you have to like hold it all the way up here. Because if you take off this little black piece, the handle's really only this long and it's made of metal and it hurts your hand if you're like, squeezing it. So I got a new one of those to replace the one I broke. We also got just like two three packs of forks and one three pack for these knives. Also only two dollars each. It was like a dollar ninety seven for a three pack. And the things that we run out of first are knives and forks so that's why we got knives and forks. So then up next is clothing and decor. Well, not decor, but kind of decor. I got this placemat. For one, I didn't even know it was a placemat until I read the tag. But this, yeah, this is a like holographic placemat. It was also only $2, but um, my boyfriend asked me if I would put it up in my office as decoration because it looks cool. So. I don't really know where I'm going to put it yet. My mind is I was going to hang it on the wall, but I don't know if I want to do it over here near my shelves or if I should do it like somewhere in the backdrop for you guys, maybe on my top. Because I can always take this backdrop down. 
So I'm going to play around with an idea for a new backdrop maybe and incorporate this into it. We'll see. I'm just trying to figure it out myself. So when, when I say do we need clothing, there are usually like four basic needs as far as clothes go for my family, which is socks, uh, always socks, underwear, bras for the girls, and then anything else is more like what do you have the least of? Do you have the least amount of pants, maybe we only had two pairs, or if it's work-related clothing such as if you need smocks or certain types of pants or, uh, you know, things like that. So anything that you need in the clothing department. So of course, my man got socks, because socks are always a necessity. They wear, they tear, they rip, and then you throw them away, and soon enough you realize you only have like three pairs of socks and you're washing your socks every single day. So he got socks, but now for us, we used to wear the same socks. We don't do that right now. Like we are just now incorporating that I get my own socks, and that's just because we usually get the and one comfort ankle socks for men and we both wear them however he wears like a 11 in men's and i wear a nine and a half in women's so even though our shoe size is like close whenever he wears the socks long enough they become like thinned out and then when i put them on like the ankle piece that like sticks out like it sticks out behind my foot. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that to you guys, but yeah, it's, they don't fit anymore for me. So I got myself some of these ankle socks by the brand Fruit of the Loom. It's been a really long time since I've even gotten Fruit of the Loom socks, so hopefully these work out for me, but I'll let you guys know because I've been wearing those and one socks forever and they are so soft and cushiony. I don't know if any other sock could, like, could really truly compare. Like if you need a sock, and then I have my boyfriend's underwear, but that's not the biggest thing in the world. He needed some more. But yeah, so when it comes to socks, I really like thick, comfy socks. Like I don't, when I say thick, I don't mean fuzzy. So not those like fuzzy wuzzy socks that make your feet sweat and like you have like water can just sitting inside your shoe cause a new athlete's foot all right so then this is the last bag as well uh well yeah the last bag there's three more items after this um over off to the side so next up i decided for the holidays since christmas and all thanksgiving are all around the corner and good stuff i didn't have anything for thanksgiving that i wanted to get that i saw at walmart so we just skipped Thanksgiving because she's literally right next week. And I went ahead and got Christmas stuff. So I'm going to do my best actually too to upload a lot more during the month of Christmas. Um, whether it's wrapping gifts, showing you gifts that I got, or how I shop and deal in the seasonal times. But I got a Christmas tree of soap and a snowman of soap. I just figured these would be really cute. They can sit on the back um, of the counter after I do my clean with me bathroom video that I'm about to do as well. So these would just be a cute little decoration in the bathroom or the kitchen for my kids. It was really truly with my kids in mind. So I just feel like it would add to helping while we're still learning to wash our hands frequently. I mean, they're the ones learning to wash their hands frequently. I do it after every task that I find to be dramatic, dramatic. <laughs> germ-matic. I hope you understand what I'm saying. It's germy tasks. So like changing diapers, using the toilet, you know, right before you cook dinner, after you cook the dinner, before serving the dinner, and after eating the dinner are all times to like wash your hands. Um, yeah. So then for me, for myself for Christmas, I bought myself this LED makeup mirror. It came in the color of rose gold and it was $19.99 at Walmart so I couldn't like it was also $19.99 on Amazon and my boyfriend gets a discount through Walmart so 
because of that. I was like, well, if I buy it here for the same price as Amazon with the discount, it will technically save me money. So that's exactly what I did. I thought it somehow it was going to come out whole, but I should have known better. I just mostly wanted to show you guys the rose goldness. Beautiful. She's looking great. Sorry if you got blinded by my light. Alright, so we're going to turn this on. Now I don't think it had like multiple light settings or anything, but we're about to find out together. If you tap it, it turns on. Hold it to adjust the brightness. Oh, and that goes pretty dim. Let me let me turn off my camera light so you can see. So this is this is the dimmest setting it has. And then that is the brightest setting it has. That's pretty good. That I can see myself perfectly in the mirror when it's this bright. And let me see if I can see myself when it's really dim. Okay, I cannot see myself in this that well. Not this dark of a setting. But, I mean, you might not need it that dark because I can just brighten it just a little. And I can see myself now. Okay, so, so this is, that's pretty good as far as like how bright it can actually get. Like I'm holding it to see if it can get any brighter. And no, it's not. So that's a pretty good like brightness for if you're in a dimmed dark setting. So if you like live in a housing unit or something that doesn't have the best lights or lighting around you, this would be pretty good. Like if I didn't have that, this might cut it as far as like lighting up my face. So yeah, I feel like this was a pretty good buy. I did want to invest in rose gold stuff if I ever get a beauty room. If I ever do decide to just wake up one day and be like, I'm crazy about makeup. I probably will never be that crazy about makeup. It's just, um, maybe if I don't actually ever have like a job job the way I do right now, a scheduled job where I have to be there every day. Maybe I'll wear makeup every day because then at least I don't really actually have to go anywhere so I can be committed to looking as wild and weird as I want to whenever I want to. And the last thing I got is actually technically a investment as far as like a Christmas gift. I'm thinking about giving this, maybe not the whole thing, but this is a 12 piece uh, mask kit for $10 by Freeman. So it comes with 12 different ones. I was figuring that I could give some of these away as uh, a gift for Christmas. Maybe not just one person, you know, several people because there's 12 total. And I could do two each, so that would still be six people that I could give two masks to. And, yeah, I mean, they're all different too. So there's deep cleansing, exfoliant, rejuvenating, cleansing, clearing, exfoliating, Pore cleansing, hydrating, purifying, renewing, anti-stress, and soothing. So all of these are different. So if I know a friend who needs more like hydration, I can just pull out like the renewing and the hydrating. If I know somebody who needs like to dry out their skin like me, they can get the exfoliating and cleansing or even the clearing one. So, it's not a bad steal for $10 as far as you get 12 masks, which means you could give six people two masks for Christmas. I'd say that's pretty good. I always do think ahead and I think outside of the box as far as gift giving and things like that. Now, let me show you the last three items of my little tiny mini haul. Last thing that's up is, yes, we needed a couple new towels. I, we like our towels, we love our towels, but with the kids getting older and using more towels than necessary, which is not all their fault, they're learning, they're growing, so we got not one, but two towels, my boyfriend got brown, he got me purple, we don't really actually separate our towels, 
and then trash can. And when I say we don't separate our towels, I mean like we just buy, we try not to buy all the same color so we know which ones are newer and which ones are older. And then that way we can continue to throw away the old towels and bring the new towels in. And it was like $4, so it wasn't a bad price. And it's black, like marble looking trash can. So it was a pretty good steal all in all. I do believe these towels are also only $4. Um, that one I don't know though. So not a bad steal for everything we got. And you know, sometimes if you just can't buy everything at once because you just don't have that kind of luxury or that money, we surely don't. We never have. So we always buy small little things in increments for if we do need them. We've always been that way. We'd rather just be safe than sorry. We've been through the crisis of like realizing something breaks down and you need another one and maybe you're not financially like able to do that right away. So then you have to wait months and months and months and months. So over time we've just learned to get small things here and there and then that way in the emergency of like, oh no, we need this, well we can go without some things because we have an abundance of it versus like not ha being able to have one or the other. I hope that makes sense. I really do because I do my best to be financially stable no matter how little or how much I make and even from like the littlest paychecks that I've had in the past I literally was able to save more money more often than other people because I was prepared or I was preparing to have that run in so I was always constantly saving money so that I had something I could do that was my mini Walmart shopping haul what I spent in a day for the holidays as far as like getting things we need I don't really know I'm going to title this because I've thought about telling so many different things. Um, I was going to title it like what I spend during the holidays. But I don't know if that's going to make sense. Because I mean these are just things that we need. Not necessarily right this second. But we know we're going to need it over time. So it's best to just get one or two things here and there. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for being here if you were all the way till the end. It's not very long, I know, but that's okay. I like keeping them short. I've been trying to do shorter videos for you guys. So I, let me know if you guys want shorter videos or if you like the long videos. Just let me know. I'm going to try to keep going around and doing more vloggy stuff. Um, I'm trying to get better at all of this. So Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. And go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you would love to help me out continue being the influencer I dream to be. And I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, bye.